last day oh my gosh i'm a little sad that it's it's coming to an end but i'm glad that there's an extra day it's gonna start off with an acting class of crying on cue but first i need to go get breakfast and drink so much water because i'm realizing that i haven't been feeling great luckily in the vip bag we had electrolyte powder things but let's go get breakfast after breakfast i did have a little bit of time to talk to some people in the lobby and then we went to the first session she is the founder of the communication method for actors which is the only film-based science method of its kind in the world create uh, chemicals in your limbic system which are going to excrete extra proteins Faith had us do an internal gaze exercise, explain her method and the difference between hers and others and why hers works. No one is watching and no one is listening. This is not an acting assignment. This is your life. This is happening to you. You did this. This is real. And cut. After the crying exercise, she helped us get happy again by doing a happy dance. Now Amanda Melby from Verb Studios, and she helped us with the power of action verbs. I wish for you to be spontaneous. It's not on this sheet, but can I try bully? Bully? Sure. Yeah. Do it. She also had audience interaction by having Adriana come up. Well, I came to my room to um, check out, but I just wanted to talk about what I felt during the Faith Hibbs Clark crying on cue class. Oh my god. I did end up crying, but I was crying because I was really uncomfortable because it just didn't work for me. Like, I liked her perspective, but because I already have, like, a different technique that I use. I use, like, the Meisner technique, which has worked a lot better for me because I have more training in it. Like, I know this could work for me if I trained with it better, but when we were doing the first exercise, she said to tell ourselves, like, like out loud to tell ourselves, this is, this is not acting, this is real life. This is not an acting assignment. This is your life. This is happening to you. And that completely took me out of it because I work so hard to make sure that I remind myself that this is acting and this is not my real life. But that's flawed, obviously. Like, this method works and that Meisner method works. And I don't have either one, like, completely solid. But it just made me really uncomfortable because I don't want to put myself in the position of, like, okay, I'm thinking of this really dark thing as if it was my real life. And then we switch to, like, a reactional, like, crying where you're supposed to, like, move and then say a line and cry. And that was making me really uncomfortable because it was just very, very sad. And I was, I was, like, wanting to cry only because everybody else in the room was crying and not necessarily because I was able to concentrate. When she did the exercise to get us out of that emotional state she ended up playing a song that triggers crying to me it like <laughs> it didn't work for me and I was just like crying instead of getting back into it I was just like crying and I don't know if anybody else had a similar reaction where that just didn't work for them but most of the people that provided feedback they were like oh yeah that was really good because of this and I found myself crying for the first time without getting angry first or whatever but I was just really uncomfortable with it again I do think that if I actually went to her courses and studied it for real it would work for me because i would be able to be like hey faith this part makes me uncomfortable how can i change that but this time because it was in a big environment i wasn't really able to do that but anyways i just wanted to say that while i still have it because i was like crying while the next session started because i wasn't able to get into the happy dance space her thing to like get us out of our, that emotional like sad side is to do a happy dance which is a really great idea but just the song happened to be like I have just really happy and really sad memories because I do because it's personal so I need to go now it's time for the director producer panel let's introduce our panel we have Deborah, Dave, and Craig welcome you have to use the actors do on set uh, I'm, I would forgive a lot of things just, you know especially if they're if they're new actors but the problem that I would see that I'd see that across the board that any actor know your lines. It's super important to, like on your resume, to list whatever kind of extra skills you have, but don't embellish. So We're going to take a quick 10 minute break and then we're going to be back for the casting director panel at 11.45. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Just like last year, the panelists and the speakers are so kind and they took the time to talk to us and take photos after. Casting director panel moderated by Fong and the casting directors here are Alexis, Bella, and Beth. 
Are you focusing on reels? What are you looking at? It depends on the size of the role, but generally at first I'm just kind of looking through those headshots and seeing who fits the general feeling of that role. You can gather a lot from a headshot, but you know, we do like to click through your other materials, so I always advise people have them up there, so we like to look at your resume and reel it there. Um, I would say before we even post the breakdown, I go through my like, mental Rolodex of people that when I'm reading the script, just kind of like who is, who's locally that I know that would play this really well, or they've done a similar role for another project, or they got a callback for something similar. Yesterday there were a lot of questions about self-submissions, and I thought, oh my god, I don't have a lot of self-submissions in my projects. Um, so that's one tip is that I'm mostly seeing only reps count it, uh, unless it's something weirdly hard to find. Uh, so I'm already making an assumption that people who have agency representation have some degree of trying, whether you know it be training, um, or there is something that that agent thought, you know, that agent believed in them or believes in them and has something you know special that I need to know. So, which I encourage everyone to have headshots that have that show personality. You know, everyone, every woman wants to have this glamorous headshot where they just look, you know, beautiful and sexy, and um, it's just rare that that's what I'm looking for. Invest your money in training, invest your money in quality coaching, invest your money in those kinds of things, and remember that a headshot is just a very small part of that package. It's your initial impression to casting, it's your initial impression to agents when you're trying to get an agent. Incredible colleagues are just so amazing. Thank you for being here. But I hope that you took the time really connect with people. In my experience, this year's conference was better than last year's. After the conference was over, I was able to talk to a few actors about what they got from the conference as well as an agent and why she recommends her actors come to this conference. Click right here.